I'll come for you. Bill Williamson, come out here right now. Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge! No more Dutch! And no more you! <laughs> implores. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Oh. <laughs> Poor John. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Is that somebody on the cliff? You just walk away now, John. I didn't kill you before, but I sure as shit will now! Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! Get ready, boys. Here they come. gonna be friends now. Hey, look what I got here. <laughs> this up. Come on, we can still get to my stagecoach. Go then, I'll cover you. They're getting away, we have to stop them. Listen! 
Just let me live. I will leave the country, I promise. You always was weak-minded. You're the one who let Dutch drive you insane! Dutch wanted you dead. We all did. Well, I'm going after him next. I'll outlive all of you. You always was a traitor, you bastard orphan. And you always was a dumb inbred hick. <laughs> Agenda is dead! Mexico is mine! Been a long time. <laughs> Hello, brother. It's uh, good to see you. I heard you was coming. You took your time, no? Come on, you're not gonna shoot your own brother, are you? We was family. Yeah, we were. Then you and Dutch went crazy and family didn't mean so much. <laughs> so now you do the government's work. And what do you do? You just work for a different government. <laughs> Come on, brother. I think we should go our separate ways, huh? What you and Dutch did was wrong. And the way you left me was wrong. Now, I hate to judge, but as it turns out, it's you or me. The way I see it, might as well be you. We thought you was dead, brother. I promise. I'm telling the truth. Besides, I can give you Bill. In Dutch, Dutch is in Colombia. I can take you straight to him. Hmm? You left me to die whoa. to save your own skin, and now <laughs> you expect me to care whoa, about whoa, you? You got it all wrong, brother. I've always loved you. Even now.
I just want Williams and Javier! It's over, old friend. I got you now. I'm taking you in, my brother. I'll let the others judge it. Where's Bill? I don't Where's know. Bill, you son of a bitch? Do you think I won't kill you, brother? He ain't here, brother. He's with agenda. You get smelly in. <laughs> it's a little late for revenge, John. I ain't here to kill you, Javier. This is just business. Go. Come on, amigo. Abigail wouldn't want this. Abigail would have killed you already. She always thought you was a creep. Come on! We was family, brother. You and me. Like Cain and Abel, I guess. Leaving each other for dead. Yeah. You don't understand what happened. It wasn't like you thought it was. Whatever you say, old friend. You're gonna be locked up for a hell of a long time. Unless they choose to hang you. Finally, you have what you came for, my friend. It was Bill, not me. Yeah, and he's next. So you and Bill are back together. Two crazy men sharing a... Oh, you shit. Don't be sure about what you're doing, brother. You saw me out. Didn't that life we had mean nothing to you? Oh! Ah, oh, you puto. Oh. One day, one day I promise you, you're gonna regret this. One day's about all you got left. Uh, I hope you and your wife and children rot in hell. You know that life we lived is over. And when we was living it, it didn't mean nothing anyway. It was just an excuse, and we all knew. What I knew is that you was always a puto. And you're still a puto. Marston, come with me. The army sent reinforcements. Come. <laughs> Two old friends reunited. It is a beautiful thing. Mr. Marston, fancy seeing you down here. I must say it's a pleasant surprise to see you. You've done well, Mr. Marston. Now, Javier here gets to see how far the hand of justice can reach. <laughs> Come on, you. Get in the damn automobile. Can we assume one of my commitments is cleared? Unfortunately, nothing is cleared, John, until your obligations are met. We need you to find Williamson, then head to Blackwater as quick as you can. We have reason to believe that Dutch Vanderland is in the area. Oh, your wife sends her regards. <laughs> Nice to see you, John. Hello, Dutch. How's Abigail? Well, I hope. Ain't seen her for a while. Cause you've been chasing me? Let the woman go, Dutch. Of course. Of course. How's your little boy? He ain't so little now. No, oh, he must be what? Fifteen? Sixteen? Doesn't time fly? Don't adjust. It's over, man. Of course. Of course. I surrendered, John. 
You're the master now. I've been my master since you left me to die. We all make mistakes, John. I never claimed to be a saint. But equally, I never took you for an errand boy. Just trying to help my family, Dutch. By making compromises, we all have to. Now let her go. It's over. You want the girl, John? You always were the romantic sort. You know, gentlemen, this man here, oh, he married a whore. Used to ride with us. We all had her. Oh, but he married her. And you know that makes him a better man than us. He's a better man. Have the girl, John. Easy, Dutch. She's a parting gift from me. God damn! I think we all are. Not me, sir. I'm from Connecticut. I'm a professor at Yale. I write books. I do not deserve to die out here. Where's my tincture? Oh, yes. You okay, professor? Oh, dandy, sir. Just dandy. Oh, great heavens above! Is that you, John? Hello, Dutch. <laughs> I think that's what they call two for the price of one out here in this wonderful place. Maybe so, Dutch. You and, and, and your friend there, the professor? We're gonna kill the both of you. Why you wanna do a thing like that? I don't know. Sport, I guess. Fair enough. Oh. Why don't I come out there? We fight. Let the professor go and send your boys back to their family. Well, that, that sounds like a beautiful plan, John. Only problem is, my boys here, they already lost their families a long time ago. We aren't thieves, John. <laughs> We're fighting for something a, a bit like you. Only we're fighting for an idea, not just for ourselves. That's beautiful, Dutch. You always were a fine speaker. I was. Now, would you kindly send that academic out here so we can show him what we really think about the art of anthropology? Please, sir, what are we going to do? I'm gonna hand you over to him and watch him tear you limb from limb. What? I'm just kidding. We're gonna run across the rooftops. Get you back to your ivory tower. Oh, thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We're still here. Come on. Hello? Looks like it's me and you, John. You should have stayed at home. I suggest you follow me. This is the United States Army! Damn. Damn it! Where'd you do working for the government, John? That's all I taught you! I'm ashamed! I don't have a choice! 
There's always a choice. You're just too blind. Son of a bitch! God damn it! You'll never take me alive, John! That's where you're wrong! Hello again, John. Hello, Dutch. We gotta stop meeting like this. Sure. I got a plan, John. You always got a plan, Dutch. This is a good one. I don't doubt it. We can't always fight nature, John. We can't fight change. Can't fight gravity. We can't fight nothing. My whole life, all I ever did was fight. Then give up, Dutch. But I can't give up, neither. I can't fight my own nature. That's a paradox, John. You see? Then I have to shoot you. When I'm gone, they'll just find another monster. They have to, because they have to justify their wages. That's their business. Our time has passed, John. Yeah. 